This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given two quarter circles, each with a radius of 40. A circle that's inscribed inside of here so that these are tangent, these are tangent, and these are tangent. And it wants us to find the area of this blue triangle. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, I'm noticing they don't tell us this is an equilateral triangle. I don't know that it is, but I do know that we have symmetry here. Since the radius of the quarter circle is equal to 40, this would split into 20 and 20. And then we also know that these are tangent right here. So there is a tangent line that's tangent to both the quarter circle and the full circle. And if we draw this line perpendicular to the tangent line, it'll go through the center of the quarter circle and also go through the center of this circle. And to find the exact location, of the center of this circle, we can draw this line perpendicular to the top, and it will also be perpendicular to this right here. The intersection of this and this is the center of our circle. And now since this is the center of the circle, this is a radius of the circle, let's call it R. And this right here will also be a radius of a circle, let's call it R. Next, let's color this orange, and we do know an expression for this orange distance as well. The entire radius of the quarter circle is equal to 40, this is equal to R, so this remaining orange portion will be 40 minus R, because it's the whole 40 minus this R. And now we can focus on this right triangle and we can do the Pythagorean theorem. It'll be 20 squared plus R squared equals the quantity 40 minus R squared. On the left-hand side, 20 squared is equal to 400 and we can copy down the R squared. And then on the right-hand side, the quantity 40 minus R squared is equal to 1600 minus 80R plus R squared. And now both sides contain an R squared, so let's subtract R squared from both sides. Let's also subtract 400 from both sides and add 80R to both sides. On the left-hand side, all of this will cancel out, leaving us with 80R. And on the right-hand side, all of this will cancel out, leaving us with 1600 minus 400, which is 1200. And then from here, we can divide both sides by 80, and that'll leave us with R is equal to 15. And now we have the value for R. We can change this R into a 15, this R into a 15, and this R into a 15. And 40 minus 15 is equal to 25. And now we no longer need this R. For the next step, let's focus on these two right triangles. These two are right angles, and these two are vertical angles. Any two triangles that have two corresponding congruent angles are similar. So we can label our two unknown sides. Let's call this one X and this one Y. And we can set up a proportion. Let's use the sides that touch the vertical angles. It'll be the leg Y over the hypotenuse 15 is equal to the leg 15 over the hypotenuse 25. And then from here we can cross multiply. 25 times Y is 25Y and 15 times 15 is 225. So we have 25Y equals 225. 25. From here, we can divide both sides by 25, and that'll leave us with y is equal to 9. And then we can change this y up here into a 9. And then from here, you might recognize this is a special 3, 4, 5 right triangle, so x is equal to 12. If you didn't recognize the shortcut, you can also do the Pythagorean theorem. It would be x squared plus 9 squared is equal to 15 squared. And that'll end up simplifying into x equals 12. So we can change this x up here into 12. And now we can bring back everything else. Since this is all symmetric and this is equal to 12, this will also be equal to 12. And now we have the base and the height of our blue triangle. So we're ready to find the blue area. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So let's get rid of everything that's not the base or the height. And now in the place of the base, we can plug in 12 plus 12, which is 24. And then for the height, we can plug in nine plus 15, which is also equal to 24. And one half times 24 times 24 is equal to 288. And that is the answer to our question. Let's give it a label of square units and put a box around it. In this given diagram, the area of the blue triangle is equal to 288 square units. How exciting. If you want to fine tune your geometry and algebra skills so you can solve problems like the one in this video, Brilliant.org has you covered. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI, and all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I also enjoy the flow of the lessons. It's a very relaxing and enjoyable way to learn. I do really enjoy going through tricky geometry problems, but sometimes you get stuck and you're not sure what to do next. With Brilliant, you always know what to do next. The interactive lessons are all in a logical order and they're 
carefully thought out. If you're ever stuck in a lesson, there's hints and detailed explanations one click away. It really is a fun way to learn. There are courses in geometry, algebra, calculus, vectors, probability, all the fun math classes. They also have tons of fun science and programming courses. If you want to try out Brilliant, visit brilliant.org slash andymath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.